Hey guys, this is the last video of uh, 2022 that I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to take some time off after this video and spend it with Hunter. We're going to uh, get ready to celebrate New Year's, which we're going to do a video of our New Year's celebration, which will be on our other channel, The Wide Open Adventures. So if y'all would like to come over, support us there, uh, subscribe. Please feel free to do so. Uh, we would enjoy it. Um, I'll put the link in the description. Also, on our new videos coming out, guys, if you have not subscribed, uh, you might want to subscribe now because I'm not going to be posting the links on other channels like I have been sharing them out. I've been really, really busy with emails and stories coming in podcasts that i'm going to do i've been invited to podcasts so it's getting really busy so if you want to see our content make sure that you subscribe to our video right now just reach down subscribe it's free it won't cost you a thing and um, you'll be sure not to miss any of our videos but um we're not going to be able to share them out like i have been due to the workload but um we're going to get into today's story christopher downey poto oklahoma the moon on July 28, 22 was a waning gibbous. Result was an attack. He survived it but was in serious condition. A seven-year-old was life lighted to Tulsa Hospital on Monday after his family found him in the yard near their home in Worcester. He was severely wounded from an animal attack. Christopher Downey arrived at St. Francis Hospital in critical condition Monday evening. He was put on a ventilator, according to the LaFleur County EMS director. There were lacerations all over his body and extensive injuries to his neck in particular. That kind of uh, goes with what we've talked about of how these things go right for the throat. And that's probably why we don't hear a lot of crying or hear noises when there was, uh, the children were abducted. is because they go right for the throat, just as we have thought. It's just another case to kind of show. Um, Audrey Downey told 4029 News, her son is off a of ventilator as of Wednesday, but still has a tracheotomy uh, to keep his airway open due to swelling. Downey said doctors might send him home with a feeding tube in the next couple of weeks. He had some major damage to his throat, neck area. It's so sad. Uh, we're managing all of the lacerations all over his body. Right now, he can lip talk, but his vocal cords aren't there. Like, I can't hear him talk. He's able to point to letters to spell out words. Christopher was visiting his grandmother's house near Worcester at the time of the attack. His mom said he was on a routine walk with her three dogs in the yard, which is near the woods. There we are, the woods line, the timber line. He wanted to go explore, and I guess he went a little too far from the house. Downey said, and then the dogs came back upon the house, and Christopher was not with them. That's when she said her brother-in-law found him in the yard, critically hurt. His family called 911 and met the medical chopper at a nearby baseball field. Now, kind of what bothered me about that is they say the dogs came back without him, but then they found him in the yard. I thought that was a little strange. Uh, she says... Um, there were bites all up and down and large scratches all over his body. So at first we thought it was the dogs. Then authorities thought that it was a mountain lion because of the deep, large lacerations. And then they were, the lacerations were so big that they said, no, it had to be a bear because of the size of them. So there you go, right there. The three dogs are eight month old poodle and german shepherd mixes which they tried to blame the dogs again but dogs don't scratch dogs paws aren't that big if it ain't a mountain lion's paws because they're bigger than a mountain lion's it ain't going to be a dog's downey said christopher has been around the dog since they were eight weeks old she said when he visits his grandmother's house to typically sleep with him that leads her to the question if her animals actually done this no your animals didn't do this if they're the size of bears paws it wasn't your animal did he get attacked by the dogs now. The dogs are currently being held by the Poto Police Department Animal Services. Jim Craig with LaFleur County said they have to wait until Christopher can tell them whether or not it was those dogs that attacked him before they can decide what to do next. Sheriff's Department said the boy indicated that the dogs or dog that attacked him was one of the dogs. 
Imagine that. They told all the residents that the problem has been solved, but to be vigilant when out and watch their kids and small animals. Okay, everybody, the problem's been solved, but you need to be careful while you're out and watch your small animals. And the kids said that it was the dogs that attacked him, but, man, these claws were so big, they had to be a bear. So, okay. Well, there's a lot of mix-ups there. We know what it is. Whenever they're, they're saying a bear and a mountain lion because they're bigger than a dog's paw, and then they come back and they say it's a dog, the case is still open. I mean, it just follows right down it. Uh, thank God the, the child survived. That's the main thing. Prayers to the family for a complete healing. The main thing is he did survive. Um, the narrative that's released on this, I'm sure, is another narrative that, well, it's their narrative is all I want to say. But, I mean, it's pretty pretty obvious whenever you got authorities saying it can't be a dog because the paw print was so big it had to be a mountain lion. And then you got them saying, no, that's way bigger than a mountain lion. It's got to be a bear. And then they come back and say, nope. It was a dog, so lions, tigers, and bears, oh my. Something's out there, and it's not the dog doing it. But anyways, guys, I want to share this one with you before the end of the year. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a safe and wonderful new year. I appreciate each and every one of you. We would not be where we're at without you guys. Don't forget, I'm doing a two-video drop. After this one's uploaded, there will be a second one uploaded right behind it, and um, you'll like it. It's an update video. I appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time, and I mean it whenever I say I appreciate you guys, each and every one of you, I appreciate. Thank you for making us the best. Keep your head on a swivel.